Hey guys, wife again. Um, so I'm going to do something that's probably very ill-advised here, and I'm actually going to create an aura from scratch that I'm not 100% sure how to do and record the entire process. Um, this time I'm going to be working with a progress texture because I am very fond of them. Um, I use one in my resto spec to track the duration remaining on my clear casting buff from Omen of Clarity uh, because I prefer to have the knowledge of how long I have to spend my proc rather than just knowledge that I have a proc, particularly since I am currently running a uh, moment of clarity, which means that I get to cast as long as that buff is active. So what I'm going to be attempting right now is to create a pair of auras, matched pair, that will hang out on either side of my character. Some folks would have a heads-up display in this area. I'm not super keen on them as a matter of course. So I will instead set up progress textures for my eclipses. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to narrow this down to where roughly the shape I want. Now for clarity, what I'm what I'm going to be tracking with these is going to be the duration on my solar or lunar peak as applicable. So I'm going to have the lunar on this side, which I will modify momentarily here. So I'm going to call this one lunar peak. So as a progress bar, that means that this is going to be tracking a buff that has an amount of time that f during which it is active. So we're going to start again by selecting who it loads for. So it's going to load in combat for player class druid, talent specialization, balance. And while I could t decide to add in uh, the Euphoria talent, which is what I'm currently specced into for Boomkin. Uh, da -da. Oh, why are you not showing Euphoria? Oh, you failed me. Okay, apparently I couldn't tie it to Euphoria because Euphoria is not uh, a valid talent choice according to this, but whatever. Um, I'm not going to do that anyway. I don't actually want to do it because Euphoria does not, in fact, impact the the way the buff works. It just impacts the swing of the balance energy bar. So it won't actually have any impact on what we're tracking here. It'll be a little bit clearer as I get further through this. So the trigger for this one, this is my Lunar. So really what I should have done was change the colors first, but whatever. We're going to call it Lunar Peak because that is what the buff is called. See here, I have the spell match. Uh, it's still a buff on me, and I don't want to know when this one is not active. So for this, I'm actually going to go to the display, and I'm going to change... Why is that here? Broker color? Nope, this isn't how this one works. And here's exactly why I shouldn't have done this live, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I don't honestly remember how you change the colors in these things. Or really, if you can. I assume you can, though. Da -da -da -da. Nope, nope, nope. Blizzard alert. This is the thing. Oh, ha. That's why. I want the moon one for the moony bits. Because that, that makes sense. It defaults to the solar one, which we'll deal with momentarily here. And so what this should do now, we're just going to close it out real quick and test it. What this should do is that that should come up when I am in Lunar Peak. There, Lunar Peak, and it's telling me my Lunar Peak is going away, and no. 
Alright, we're out of lunar. Cast a few things. And now we're in Lunar Peak again. Fantastic. Okay. So the reason that my Lunar Peak buff is disappearing is because what the Lunar and Solar Peaks respectively do is it increases the damage of your next dot of that variety by 100%. So you want to make sure that you are reapplying your dots while you are at peak, which is why I'm creating these auras to draw my attention to I am at peak. I have this amount of time to cast the spell before I will lose out on the buff. So what we're going to do is we're going to open Weekoras back up again. And we're actually going to duplicate the Lunar Peak, but we're going to change it from Lunar Peak to Solar Peak. And we're going to start editing it slightly. So under Solar Peak, we're going to say choose, and we're going to set it to the sun instead of the moon. Say okay to that. And we're going to mirror it because it's going to be on the other side of the screen. And now while this one is at negative 335, your zero is in the middle of your screen, so we want to set that to positive 335 which should put it directly across, equidistant from the center, so it shouldn't collide with any of my other auras, we'll find out in a minute. And so we're going to go ahead and view, so that we can see them together. That's nice. And then, we're going to go out to new, we're going to create a group, we're going to call it... Balance Peaks because I don't know what else to call it. I'm bad at naming things. And so what we're going to do now, now that we have a group, that group will then control both of these things. So we're going to go in and we're going to say, we're going to, uh, nope, we need to go into the settings under the group. And we're going to, one of these days I will remember how to do this. Ah, okay. So, so see this little arrow thing here? We're going to say, put this display in a group. And we're going to say, put that in Balance Peaks. And then we're going to select Lunar Peak. And we're going to say, put this display in a group. And we're going to say, put that in Balance Peaks. And so now, Balance Peaks is both of those lovely little animations. Now what I'd really like to toy with would be having the progress go as as if it were cycling. I don't even know if this is possible. As I said, I'm totally spitballing the wall as I'm doing this recording, which is not the most brilliant way to do things. But it's fun, so why not? Alright, so the lunar peak goes down, and then I want the solar peak to instead come up. So, orientation, top to bottom. So it's going to look like the moon goes down, the sun comes up. And now we're going to test it out in context of the rest of my auras. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a moonfire in the dummy to start us out. And then we are in peak. Oh, ha, we totally forgot to set the settings. So see how it's not coming up in solar? This is why I test as I go along. So I catch stupid things like, oh, yeah, you duplicated the aura, and then you didn't change the settings on it. Good work. OK, so we're going to go into solar. And then the trigger for solar peak shouldn't be lunar peak. So we're going to change that to solar peak. Say OK. You notice it changes color, so now it's going to display for Solar Peak instead of Lunar Peak. And everything else should be OK. So then we're going to close this out and we're going to test it again. So here we have that. Do the thing. And we're in Lunar Peak, and oops, I'm casting a spell, and let's hit that before Lunar Peak goes away. Cool. And 
Now we've reached solar. And now we're in solar peak. But oh no, solar peak is ending. Quick, cast the spell. And bing. So there you have it. Again, just a very simple aura that tracks when your lunar and your solar peaks are. So you see there, I completely missed my, my lunar peak. Isn't that terrible? But again, you notice that I have the buff now says I'm in solar peak, but the weak aura is not displaying because I'm not being considered to be in combat right now. Again, this is sort of the shortcoming of doing this in my garrison on the training dummy, but sorry, not going to test this out in the wild while something is actually beating on me while I'm sitting here narrating and messing with a weak aura. But it gives you a basic idea of, of how it works and some of the things you can choose to display. Um... I've also got, as I said earlier, I've got the clear casting tracks on my resto set. It just tracks how long is left on my clear cast. It just counts down the same way the lunar one counts down. Um, and I've got a similar set for my mage for uh, pyroblast and heating up. They do the same thing where the buff counts. It, it uses the basic blizzard notification graphic, but it also counts down instead of just being there and then being gone. So this has been another look at a fairly simple weak aura. Um, again, not an expert by any means, but there's still a lot of stuff you can do with a very basic understanding of the mod. I hope this helps.